Love it. I found it. The Germans have set up an advanced reconnaissance unit. Looks like they're getting ready for the big push. Then, uh, according to our intelligence, this could be Colonel von Bracht. Yeah, yeah, it could be. You better get this on to Horn headquarters right away. Troy, what is it? We're under attack. Map coordinates. 
Now, you must understand that Kos is a psychopath. A fine officer, but nonetheless a very disturbed young man. I can believe that. And now, going back to your former question, I can say that Kos could persuade you. You have a lot of confidence in him, Colonel. Oh, he has a wonderful sense of humor. He will laugh at almost anything. Now, your pain, for example, would set him into hysterics. As a matter of fact, at times we have trouble to stop him from laughing. Huh? Make the call. Huh? Convince them. I'll check out from that hill. Keep your eyes peeled. Commander, the fighting 19th platoon of the Garibaldi Brigade is ready to surrender to, to your superior forces. Having fought a long and hard engagement, I must remind you that we are to be treated according to the Geneva Agreement. We surrender without shame, as we have been considerably outnumbered. Uh, I would like to turn over my sword to you, but unfortunately, it was stolen six months ago. And, uh, may we have a drink of water? Lieutenant, keep the canteen. I'm afraid we have to push on. Oh, uh, uh, excuse me, Commander. <clears throat> but I must remind you that under the Geneva Regulation, uh, prisoners of war will be taken directly to a processing center. Here. If you wait here long enough, I can guarantee the Germans will pick you up. Commander, we are weary of the Germans, their war. We want to quit. You must take us prisoners. You... Sorry, we're in a hurry. Oh. I must remind you that the Geneva Regulation specifies that... If you're so concerned about regulations, why didn't you surrender earlier? I'm obliged to tell you the truth. We are the remnants of a much defeated company. But my men are not cowards. And I must leave them with, with something, some pride. It would have been dishonorable just to have surrendered. This way, they, they have some pride. I'm afraid it doesn't change a thing. We've got the wrong bus. Jump in. Ein 
Brünnlein steht im Walde ganz still und stumm. Oh, wie gut, dass niemand weiß, dass das berühmte Stückchen heißt. Oh, wie gut, dass niemand weiß, dass die berühmte Stückchen heißt. Und das hat mir doch der Teufel gesagt. Oh, ein Männlein steht im Walde ganz still und stumm. Ein Männlein steht im Walde ganz still und stumm. Das Grumpelstilzchen heißt. All right, I'll make the call. Herr Leutnant, halten Sie! Herr Leutnant, halten Sie bitte. Er sagt, er macht den Anruf. Hitch are still alive. They'll be in that camp, and we have to get in there. Got to be in there. Now the dickens do we get them out? That's the problem. Excuse me, Commander, but I must remind you that under the Can't Geneva... Can't you think of anything besides your own skin? Look, pal, we've got friends down there. Would you risk your lives for them? Wouldn't you? Yes, but I am Italian. We've been with the Germans too long. Is there anything I can do to help anything? And I don't see how we're going to get into that camp. We can't. But they can. You have found nothing in this sector. They are, as you put it, home free. This is Apple Red calling blue. Apple Red calling blue. Come in, blue. This is blue. This is blue. I read you, Apple Red. Over. This is the report on my reconnaissance of sectors G through R. There's a German command post located at sector G. There's an attack at night from the north. <laughs> you did not really think that we would let you call without first testing you now, did you? I pulled this out the moment you made contact. Herr Leutnant, kommen Sie bitte. Die Italiener haben zwei Gefangene. Italiener. Herr Oberst, zwei amerikanische Gefangene wurden eingeliefert. Tenente Cristaldi, 19th Platoon, Garibaldi Brigade, reporting, sir. Uh, forgive me if I stare, but it is the first time I have ever seen an Italian with a prisoner. Where did you find them? We were attacked a few miles from here 
by an Allied company. There is an entire battalion moving this way. A battalion? Where? Do you have a map? This way. I keep these men on the guard. Now show me quickly. We were attacked here. Impossible. Sir, my company endured a long and hard-fought engagement. Many of our men were lost. It is incredible. Now, this could mean an Allied pincer movement right through here. We would be completely cut off from our own lines. Check division headquarters. See if there's any news. Lieutenant, Kos will show you where to take your prisoners. Kos, take these men along also. Lieutenant, thank you. That's right. I tell you, Captain, we have reports that an Allied battalion has moved into Sector G. Now, can't you people give me a simple yes or no answer? Do you have confirmation or not? I will wait. Who's your teller? Mm. Tenente Cristaldi, fighting 19th platoon of the Garibaldi Brigade. It looked better on him. But it did help us get in here. Tully's over the other side of the camp, trying to create a diversion, give us time to get out. I've got to get to that radio. Which is most important, radio or getting out of here? Well, we can try for both. But the Germans are planning an offensive for tonight, and we've got to warn headquarters. Then we try and get out. Can you get us a truck? One of the advantages of coming from a poor family, you learn how to steal properly. All right. You mean to say there are no reports of an Allied battalion? Ender. Of course, bring me that Italian lieutenant and the Americans. Macher, helfen Sie mir. Turn around. 
No. At least we know which side you are on. I just want to use your radio. This is Apple Red calling Blue. This is Apple Red calling Blue. Come in, Blue. Come in, Blue. This is Apple Red. Do you read me, Blue? Please come in. This is Apple Red calling Blue. This is Apple Red calling Blue. Come in, Blue. Come in, Blue. This is Blue. This is Blue. I read you, Apple Red. Over. The Big Crowd Offensive is set for tonight. Do you read me? The Big Crowd Offensive, set for tonight. Affirmative, Apple Red. Read you loud and clear. No! Hold it up! Roger, out. can use them. Sarge! Su, avanti, venite! Let's go, let's go! Let's find out. Don't shoot! Don't shoot, Sergeant! Perrone! It's me! Cristaldi! Venite fuori! Siamo tutti prigionieri! E va bene, forza! Venite fuori! Bravi, avete visto il successo adesso, eh? Siamo tutti a posto! No, I will never understand them. No. No, I'm afraid you won't.
Guten Morgen, Herr General. Lieutenant? Ja, bitte? You think a night of standing on their toes has loosened the tongues of our prisoners? They died of exposure last night, sir. How uncooperative of them. Maybe he's in trouble. Contact Troy's patrol and tell him to get over there. Yes, sir. Freebam reporting, sir. Freebam. This is Sergeants Troy and Moffat, Privates Hitchcock and Pettigrew. Troy, Smith did talk before he died. That's why I sent for Freebam. You're escorting him to Corlea. What's in Corlea? General Koenig is going there right now for a short vacation. Koenig? The one they call the butcher? Interrogation, concentration camps, murder. He'll have a strong escort with him. 
Then you want us to try and capture him. Capture would be fine, but he'll be well guarded. Your orders are to kill him. Take a look at this map. See these hills? Koenig's retreat is on this one. How are we supposed to get to him? That's where Freebaron comes in. You take him to the top of the hill adjacent to Koenig's retreat. Right in, I'll do the rest. You intend to pick off the butcher from a mile away? That's what we're counting on. You better get moving. You can ride with Hitch and me. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Strong, silent type. Gehen für die Informationen vorüber. One of our observation planes detected two Allied jeeps coming this way. So? Well, the Arab with the painted face and the radio that we found this morning. I'm a bit worried about your safety. Worry for your own as well, Captain. I'll have you shot if anything goes wrong. If you don't mind, I will send the half track to investigate. Sturm, fahren Sie zurück und berichten mir irgendetwas Ungewöhnliches. Verstanden? Well. Some more over the ridge. We haven't got time to move out. Attention, please. 
This is Grey Fox. This is Grey Fox. I'm Blackbird. <laughs> That was a pretty fancy shooting. Thanks. Unload the jeeps. If there's any trouble, send up a flare. And if you get into any trouble, just yell, and I'll come up and save you. You ever been in combat, Free Baron? Not your kind. My kind? I'm under my profession. Were well, not for this war of yours, I'd be in the bush right now. This war of ours, you don't acknowledge it, do you? I acknowledge only that which I need to do my job. Trajectory, speed, wind, distance, time. And if you fail? I will not fail. And what happens here this morning will be remembered. This distance, this target, General Koenig himself, this challenge will not go unnoticed by my, my contemporaries. It's nearly time. Butch is known as an early riser. How many yards you figure? Two thousand. What the devil? What's wrong? His family. He's brought his family. What do we do now? Right in the line of fire. Not completely. I can make an adjustment. No. What do you mean, no? We don't try it. I want it, the little girl. It's not just a little girl. Then what? I don't like the idea of three children seeing their father murdered over their breakfast cereal. They're not our concern. He's right, you know. Suppose that was you down there, and they were your kids. But they're not. Troy, I know this is a stinking business, but we do have our orders. I know our orders. They want them alive. <laughs> You've lost your senses. Why? Because you'll lose your chance for the big kill? Wind, velocity, distance, that's all you care about. I think you enjoy killing as much as the butcher does. Well, you're here to help me kill him. My job is... I know what your job is, Corporal. Well, I'm giving you another job. Hitch and I are going over there and get the butcher. And you're gonna cover us with that rifle. And if I refuse? Moffat, he doesn't do what I say. Kill him. I'll be ready.
Cover them with a rifle. family understand English? Nine, nine. Well, I want to make a short and brief. There's a high-powered rifle trained on you. I don't like the idea of you getting killed in front of your family. So I want you to get up and walk out of here with me. <laughs> You're bluffing. If your children weren't sitting here, you'd be dead right now. You'll never get off this hill alive. Then come with me. You might get lucky. Leute, was wollen die hier? Nein, nein, nein. Alles in Ordnung. Alles in Ordnung. Tell your family to go inside. Do nothing and they won't be hurt. Frau, bring the kid in the Sentry, above them. I see him.
Let's go. Not yet. What? The chair the butcher was sitting in. You saw it. I saw it. Troy out for that harebrained stunt you pulled. Now I'd like to congratulate you on a job well done. That goes for you too, Freebairn. Well, goodbye. I could have done it. My way, you know? Yeah. He told me. So you risked all that for nothing. Do you really think it was for nothing? Yeah.